Hi folks, Tracy Sheen, The Digital Guide here back with your daily digital tip number 64. Today we're having a play in Facebook and we're talking about creating events. Now events in Facebook are a really handy way if you're looking to run a webinar or you know when we're allowed to get back together again, um, a workshop or an in-person event. I'm going to show you how to do this off a business page, but it's exactly the same way off your personal page if you're setting up a birthday or you know anything like that. So from your business page on the left hand side, you'll have a section that says events. If you double click on to that, I find the double click just seems to make it work a little faster these days. So not sure what's going on there. First thing you want to do is go create event. Um, and what's going to come up is the information required for you to set that event up for Facebook. So the first thing it's going to want you to do is change the photo or upload a photo that's relevant to the event that you're running. Now, I use Canva to create my Facebook events. And you can see if you jump straight into Canva, one of the things that's first listed is an event cover. So if you click on into there, um, it's got a bunch of templates that are already preset to the dimensions that Facebook is looking for for an event cover. So go ahead and create an event cover that suits. So I'll give you an example. Here's a couple that I've got an event, uh, a couple of webinars that I've done over the time that I've just created. I've set up a template and all I do is every time I run a webinar, I just swap the images in and out. So go ahead, create your event cover photo. Call your event, give your event a name. Now you've got 64 characters, so keep it short, keep it sweet, um, but tell people what it is. So maybe webinar, um, Facebook events. Location at the moment, let's say it's going to be an online event and give a bit of a description about what this is. So setting up a test event to show folks how to set up an event in Facebook. I find it easier to type if I say the words as I'm talking. Select a category, you have to choose from something. Now there is no business category. So if nothing suits what you're looking for, just tick other. It won't ask you for a subsection, so don't sweat it. Um, go ahead and select your time, your date and your time. So what time does it start? What time does it finish? So if it's a webinar, it's usually about an hour, right? So set that up. Do you have any co-hosts? So if you want someone else to co-host the event with you, start typing in their name, again, either a personal or a company name, and that will send a request to that person to say that you would like them to co-host the event with you. Go ahead, if you have any keywords that people might be searching on, so Facebook, um, you know, if there's anything there, you can see it starts coming up with, you know, acid jazz, clearly a popular topic. Um, comes up with a bunch there that you might want to tap into. Um, also gives you the the tip to say, you know, is this going to be child friendly? Is it a volunteer opportunity? What is it that you're trying to do? Now, let's work on the example, say that it's a webinar, you want to add a ticket link in. So you're going to go straight into ticket link, grab your webinar link. Um, now, again, I use bit.ly just to shorten my link. So let me just go in and grab a link um, and pop it straight in. Um, and if it has a price on it, you know, that would be where you would also add the cost. Is it on sale now? Yes, it is. Options around posting. I usually leave this open to say that anybody can post. If I'm putting an event on my business page, I want some interaction. I want people to say, yep, looking forward to it or be able to tag other people. I'm not worried about posts needing to be approved. I don't have time to worry about things like that. I don't switch the messenger on. Um, I would rather people ask questions relevant to the event on the event page. But if you want people to be able to message you, tick that. I also leave the display guest list on. Now, the reason I do that is because it starts to show up in other people's lists so you can see what friends have been invited or are attending an event. So you can schedule the event to... Um, go live in, you know, whatever day works for you. You can publish it now or you can save it as a draft. So I'm just going to save it as a draft right now because all we want to do is show you how to set up an event. Once it's set up and it's published, you can then go in and start inviting your friends to join. So you can see this is a draft. 
So, for example, if you wanted a VA to set up an event for you, they could do all the legwork, save it as an event, you could go in, double check it, make sure that everything's okay, and then set it to go live, you know, when you're ready to do so. So that's it, really handy. Uh, I like using Facebook events to help boost uh, numbers. If I'm running a webinar or something like that, people can click on Facebook I tend to find you just got to keep reminding them that they need to also go and register for the webinar or register offline as well. Often people will go in and tick they're going or they're interested and then they don't follow up. So that's it. Facebook events, really handy one to know as business owners. Hope you find it useful. Um, While we're here, if you haven't already been on to my page and liked it, please do so. Um, That way you'll keep up to date with all the daily digital tips as they go live at 11.30. So that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow with another daily digital tip. Take care. Bye.